How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my FIFA Mobile channel and welcome back to another matchups video. If you're new around here, this is something I do every single Thursday. I give you my predictions for the brand new matchups and fingers crossed together we can get the players or in this case today, what do we have in store? Is it skill boost? Please be skill boost. I'm hoping it's going to be skill boost today. It's not, it's XP, 30,000 XP. Or if you get 4 out of 4, 200,000 XP. But hopefully, guys, these videos do help you get as many of these matchups correct. And hopefully we can collect the rewards together as a team. So, first things first then, let's have a look how we did get on last week. Unfortunately, we didn't do 4 out of 4. As you can see, we did manage to get 2 out of 4. Which, considering last week's results in football... Two out of four I will take. So first of all then, we had Leipzig versus uh, Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim, away from home, absolutely smashed Leipzig. I think it was like 5-1 by the end, by the full-time whistle. So we got that one horribly wrong. Away from home, Hoffenheim just doing the business. Next up then, we had Juve versus Napoli. Juve at home. Once again, the away team won in one of the most dramatic things this season in the Serie A. Napoli scored what I believe to be a 90th minute winner, Koulibaly from a corner. And that now does, guys, open up the Serie A title race completely. And Juve's next up fixtures, the fixtures they've got left this season, are much harder than Napoli's. So Napoli, I think, are in with a strong shout for the Serie A title this year. Next up then, we went over to the, I can't even remember what league this was. Foggier versus, I can't even remember guys what league this is. We went with the draw and that's exactly what happened. So our first matchup point of last week was coming in from our one and only draw prediction. And secondly guys, we had Derby versus Middlesbrough. I did, did back Middlesbrough away on their travels and we got that one correct as well. So we got two out of the four. Which, considering some of those, like, I don't think anyone really predicted Napoli to get an away from home win. I think Juventus are in cracking form right now. Um, they're out of the Champions League, so they're going to be going all guns blazing for the league. But if you did back Napoli, guys, congratulations, because you would have got yourself another matchup point. So, we have the two matchup players that we could have gone for. And I think I said last week that I was going to be going for the centre-back if uh, I did have 4 out of 4. And now I'm going to be spending FIFA points on this matchup because I do want to get a centre-back matchup player because I don't think we have had a matchup player that's been a centre-back before. We've had, a, we've had CDMs, we've had centre-mids, we've had cams, we've had Marco Royce, we've had left-wing Marco Royce, we've had multiple strikers. But from what I can think of, I can't think off the top of my head of any centre-backs that we've already had. So I'm going to be spending my four matchup points on him. And to be honest with you guys, I'll show him once I've got him here. He does look like an absolute beast. Let's have a look at some of his stats. 94 pace, 86 defending and 97 physical. He's quick, he's strong, he's defensive. That is absolutely brilliant. So, no skill boost for me today. We're going to be picking up the players. So, looking at this week's brand new matchups that have just dropped, we have Belhanda, the Moro Moroccan? I want to say Moroccan. He is Moroccan from Galatasaray in the cam spot. Stats do look really, really nice. Almost everything in 90s from what you'd expect. Obviously not defending and physical. You wouldn't really expect that in a cam, but quick. Got shooting, got passing, got agility, got all that you need from a really nice cam there. And as I, as I said in the intro, guys, if you don't want that, you can either go for 30,000 XP for every result you get right. Or if you get four out of the four, which we're all hoping to do today, you can go for 200,000 XP. So first of all then, guys, we have Manchester United versus Arsenal, Manchester United at Old Trafford. Guys, previously, I've backed Manchester United three times in these matchup videos. Three times. And every single time, people have given me hate. So we've gone with Spurs, Liverpool, and and Chelsea. Every single time, I've backed Man United. Everyone's everyone's like almost given me stick and hate in the comments, saying how wrong that's going to be. Three times I've got it correct. Now, I'm not just going on Manchester United winning on that predict... What is going on here? I wanted to cut in way sooner than I did there. Daily Blind, can we just get over you? So, 
Arsenal can't get in the top four, guys. It's, it's, it's not impossible, I don't think. But I think everyone has to lose and Arsenal have to win everything. It's pretty much impossible for Arsenal to get in the top four, guys. That means they are 100% going to be focusing on the Europa League. They have Atletico Madrid tonight at home. Next week, they have Atletico Madrid away. In between those two European fixtures, they have Manchester United away. They're going to be resting so many players. They, Arsenal fans, I'm sure you'll agree with me in the comments. It's not going to be a walk in the park for Man United. But Wenger's going to be playing a very, very, very weak Arsenal squad to rest players for their away leg in the Europa League. Because that's the only way, like Man United last season, the only way they can get the Champions League next season is if they do win the Europa League, which gives you a place in the Champions League. And I think that's exactly what Arsene Wenger's going to be doing. So next up then, we are going, we're going to the Russian League, which is a bit weird. As always, I've got my trusty tables next to me. We have Zenit versus Moscow. So, Zenit and Moscow, they're next to each other in the table. One point different away from each other. Zenit are at home. Zenit versus... Tell you what, guys. Moscow... Moscow are on two back-to-back -back defeats right now. They lost 2-1 and they lost 3-1. That does mean... I'm going with Zenit at home. I'm going to go with Zenit... They're one point off them in the table, so they're fourth. Moscow are higher in third. But given the recent form, Moscow are on back-to-back -back defeats, which is not ideal for them coming into a really crucial game. I think Zenit, at home as well, are going to be coming into this fixture extremely confident of getting the three points. So if we can bang that with Cristiano Ronaldo! Third goal. Give a, oh, I hate these crossing chances. I don't really have a... I don't have a team that's too much of a threat in the air on FIFA Mobile, so crossing is one of the last resorts for me on this. So there we are then, three goals out of the three. That is Zenit versus Moscow complete. We are going with both the home home teams for our first two predictions. So moving on to the third prediction, we're actually moving to La Liga over in Spain. We have Real Sociedad versus Athletic Club. Athletic Bilbao. Um, let's have a look. Uh, right, Athletic Bilbao. Uh, doo -doo 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 right, okay. Athletic Bilbao, they're 14th. Wow, they're, they're doing really poorly. And then we've got Raul Sociedad, who are 11th. Oh, so it's we've got 14th versus 11th here, guys. And they're both... I tell you what, Raul Sociedad have just come off three wins on the bounce. Athletic Bilbao have only won one in their last six. So we're going with our third home team in a row. Real Sociedad on a nice bit of form, picking up nine points recently. And uh, Athletic Bilbao have picked up one win in their last six. So they have done very, very poorly recently. Is Keeper going to come out for that? He is. I knew Keeper was going to... I knew Keeper was going to... Uh... There we are. Right. Oh, I thought that was three out of three. Out of three. All right. Cristiano Ronaldo through. I miss playing these skill games with my Griezmann. I'm not going to lie. Right. There we are then, guys. Third matchup done. For the fourth matchup, we are heading over to the Turkish League. And I think, I think we're looking at Galatasaray. For the fourth fixture. We are looking at Galatasaray versus Bzigtas. Oh, we uh, did we oh no, we had Fenerbahce recently, didn't we? So Galatasaray versus Bzigtas, they're next to each other in the table. One point off. I believe I'm correct in saying whoever wins this, I think will win the league, in my in my opinion. Oh wow, this is I don't know. I really don't know for this one, guys. I think I might go for a cheeky draw. I've hit play now. We're going for a draw. They're next to each other in a the table. Their forms are fairly similar. Oh, I hate this skill game. Their forms are fairly similar. They're one point off. Galatasaray are at home. Galatasaray right now would settle for a draw. Bazigtas wouldn't. Bazigtas will be going for the three points, which... Makes it a little bit easier for this prediction to try and call it as a draw because one team isn't fussed about winning, the other is desperate. So as long as one team goes defensive, 
I think it's I think we could be seeing we could be seeing a draw with this one guys but that does wrap things up guys for this week's matchups four of the matchups done we have gone with a draw we've gone with Raul Sociedad we have gone with Zenit and we've gone with Manchester United and if I do get four out of the four, which I hope you guys will do as well as me. I will be claiming that bell hander at the cam spot. But that's going to wrap things up for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to smash that thumbs up. But as well as that, let me know down in the comments what have your matchup predictions been. If you've gone the same as me, let me know. If you've gone differently to me, let me know what your predictions have been. And let me know why they're different to mine. I'm always interested to have a debate with you guys. Uh, it's an opinionated thing. I'm not saying I'm right or anything this is literally my predictions of who i think is going to win this week's matchup hope you haven't just making sure there are no more matchups sometimes there's one sneakily hiding at the bottom hope you haven't enjoyed this video if you have make sure to smash that thumbs up until the next one i'll be speaking to you guys later take care oh and subscribe if you're new i forgot to say that as well